the real cool guy. Hey everybody, Jason Huggins, the real cool guy here. And I don't know about you, but there are certain audio processes that I do over and over and over again when I'm doing certain projects or when I'm sending out auditions. And I like to be able to, when I can, just do those processes quick and easy. Um, and so what we're going to be talking about today is how to build a stack. Um, I think that's what uh, Twisted Wave calls it. That's what a lot of people I've heard talk about it call it. But in Adobe Audition CS6, we're going to call it a preset. Um, we're going to call it a preset favorite. So we're going to come over into Adobe Audition CS6. I've got this test file set up, as you can see here. And what we're going to do in this test file is we're going to put together a stack, basically. That is the things that you want to do uh, over and over and over again. And then you want to save that so that you can quickly and easily just get to it. So first off, let's talk about how about a high pass filter. So actually, here you go. This is the effects rack right here. I have this set right there. Um, if you want to add this effects rack, if it's not in your work, uh, your workspace, you can go here to window and then you go down to effects rack and you just make sure that it's ticked. So if it's not ticked in yours, tick it and then put it on the screen somewhere if you want to be able to see it on a regular basis. So we've got it over here. Now these are the presets right here. You can go in here and you can see that these are all, almost all of these came by default in the software. I haven't gone through and deleted them all just because I haven't. I don't know. It doesn't matter to me. So, but a few of them I, I have added. Um, I put a one in front of them to make sure that they popped up on the top. It's a little trick. Um, and this is before I did that trick. I did voiceover and they were all in the same place either way. So these are all um, presets and they have all kinds of stuff like guitar delay. So we've got echo, blah, 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 blah. Um, you know, here's a limiter with a parametric EQ with a uh, de-esser on it. Anyway, if you go to default or default, um, you can clear it. So that'll be clear. Now let's build a stack or an effect rack preset favorite. So we're going to click here. That is going to open up our list of effects. And we're going to start out, we're going to add a graphic EQ. Um, we're going to, I'm going to do this to add a, um, a high pass filter, basically. Uh, so here we got um, a Here's 63, here's 31. We'll just do it at 63. We'll drop this down to negative 60. That's going to cut everything. Well, not everything, but um, it's going to cut It's going to cut all the frequencies from 63 and below and a little bit above because there's going to be a curve, um, but by negative 60. Now I'll close this. That's now saved right there. Now let's say I want to add um, a little bit of compression. So we'll go and go to a single band compressor. And, um, you know, whatever you can mess with your settings. These are not settings that I necessarily recommend. Um, but they're set the way that they're set. So you can set the settings the way you want to set them. Then maybe you want to DS, uh, you might want to do that beforehand. Well, let's just say you wanted to do that beforehand. You can move that down and say, okay, I want to change that DS and you got a DS. Here we go. Jason. All right. So. Now that DSer is set where uh, at some point I used it and that's the way it worked. So I saved a preset. <clears throat> you can close that. So now we've got all that. And then maybe you want to limit it. Do a hard limiter. Negative 1 dB is the maximum amplitude and an input boost of 5. So, you know, set it however you want to set it. We'll close that. So let's say this is a this is a preset that you do these things on a really regular basis. These are things that you tend to always do and you you know, and you have to do it individually with every track that you send down. Now you can do this and then come up here to this button right here. This is the save effects rack as preset. You click that. It's going to pop up this little dialog box and you just name the preset. Um, standard VO. And we can even put a one in front of it if you want it on top. Bam. Okay. So that's saved. Now all you have to do is go to that preset every time. Uh, one of the things that I didn't talk about was order. Um, these effects are applied in the order that they are listed. So one, you will have the graphic EQ applied. Two, the DSL will go through. Three, the single band compressor will compress. Seven, I mean four, the, the hard limiter will limit the audio. Now, if, if that's it, that's all you want, then you can just save it and you're good to go. And then that way, 
if we record some audio, then we can see exactly what it's going to end up looking like after we do it. So I recorded that audio. Um, this is how it would look normally. We would go to standard VO there. Then we would come down here and hit apply. All right, there you have it. That's how you put together an effects rack preset in Adobe Audition CS6. If you have any questions or want to chat with me about anything, you got any questions about this, I don't know how to do this in a lot of other DAWs. I don't have that answer for you. Um, but it, chances are you can find a way to do it in Pro Tools and you can find a way to do it in uh, Twisted Wave. I know you can do it in Twisted Wave, but um, I'm sure you can do it in a lot of other DAWs. This is how you do it in, in Adobe Audition CS6. And I am Jason Huggins, the real cool guy. Thanks. Until next time. The Real Cool Guy.